in just a few hours. An asteroid will pass so close to Earth, astronomers will be tracking its every single move. Now, do not worry. Really smart people have been watching and this asteroid for 27 years. They're not done yet. Paula Tutman shows us how the experts, even the military, are keeping a close eye on its path. Astronomers say absolutely look up this evening in the night sky, face south for a pretty extraordinary phenomenon. Now, all you need are a pretty strong pair of binoculars and of course the telescope your granny got you for Christmas. NASA actually calls this a potentially hazardous asteroid because as it skirts Earth, it does so at a mere 1.2 million miles away. Its name is Asteroid 7482, and astronomers have known about it since 1994. They've been watching it and following its trajectory, and they know that it'll pass closest to the Earth around 725 this evening. They're watching it as they do with every celestial object that comes within 4 million miles of Earth, and this one comes 1.2 million miles from Earth. Which sounds like it's really far away. Um, compared to like us driving the 20 miles from work to home or whatever, it's it's very far away. But in in the scale of the entire solar system, um, this is something that is relatively large. Meet Dr. Shannon Schmall, the director of the Abrams Planetarium on the campus of Michigan State University. So it's potentially hazardous. So in the future, it could end up meet, catching up to us. Um, if something were to adjust its orbit slightly, it could still potentially hit us. So it's something that we want to keep an eye on just in case. OK, got it. Safe this time around and maybe in 200 years when it returns, but maybe not after that. Got it. Now, space is a big place, so yes, in space terms, it's a pretty close near miss. But let's do the math in Earth terms. So think of the sun, 90 million miles from Earth. If the sun was Lansing, then the Earth would be just about Detroit. That asteroid would pass right about at I-75 service drive, about a mile from Campus Martius. Oh, and it's traveling at nearly 44,000 miles per hour. Oh, and it's about a half mile wide. You feeling me? Dr. Mike Lamone is a professor of space sciences at the University of Michigan. So the one that's passing by is a, a very large asteroid that would cause significant damage if it actually hit Earth. Um, so that's why we're still watching it, <clears throat> just to make sure that it passes outside of the moon's orbit and that we're, we're very safe. The good news is there's almost a certainty that it will miss the on-ramp to Earth and glide right by us. But scientists are still watching carefully because the good news is not only will it just miss Earth, but it will also miss other planets in our solar system. Yeah, because if it hits anything in our solar system, that's bad, really bad. Last year, NASA actually launched a DART system, an asteroid smacking system, just in case they're eyeing an asteroid heading toward Earth in October for the first test. By the way, lots of asteroids up there. If you ever want to see one or feel one, lots of them hit Michigan as meteors. The Abrams Planetarium has them. You can pick them up, feel them. In the meantime, astronomers are saying, make sure you look up. But Paul is saying, foggy, you might not see anything. Karen? Such a cool story. All right, we appreciate it, Paula. Thanks so very much.